Right, this is a bit like an unboxing. This boy is, it's, it's hard, but it's not rock hard. Right, well, we'll set up the melt and take a skim off that side. Get rid of the glue particles, and then we'll do a measure across here. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to make a dummy pin for the mill, so I'll make it the uh, the diameter of the pin in the mill is 31.47. So I'll turn up a um, a dummy pin so that I can machine this and test it without having to uh, take it off, put it on the milling machine, and put it back again.
meters ago. Pretty close now, we should be about 31.2. According to that measurement, we're dead on size, which I don't quite believe. Pretty close, but not quite. We've got our gauge here, which is 31.48. wants to go but not quite. So let's measure that again. It's quite awkward measuring a parallel surface. It's not like measuring a, a bore because the gauge wants to slip in the wrong direction. Five, which is two hundredths over, but the gauge doesn't want to fit, which is good. Let's measure the gauge. Yep, gauge is 31.48 as marked. I wonder whether we've just got a bit of a burr at that end. Doesn't feel like it. We'll do another spring cut. I've uh, just tidied up those edges for the file and just see a witness mark just see a witness mark down there where it went onto the pin there's a bit of a score on the bronze and this is the cast surface there's no mark on the cast surface I'll put a bit of oil on there and see if it um, that helps it uh, slide on. 